everybody. How you doing? Well presented by Food by the Word Media. And today our topic is going to be a very interesting topic. And it speaks to the day specifically for sure. I've been, this whole entire week has been a very interesting week. And the conversations that I'm having with people are very, very, very interesting and encouraging. But it, we're really under, we're really discovering that there's a there's a, a, per, a pervasive issue throughout the world right now, and that's about thinking. So today's topic is actually about seeking first to understand, then to be understood. Now that's one of the seven habits, you know, principles that I that I have studied intently for almost 20 years now, and have really applied to everything that I do. And I think now is a time more than ever whether it's from, you know, what's going on with the Andrew Tate situation, you know, whether it's, you know, um, um, dealing with, you know, you know what, what Greta Thornburg says, whether, you know, it's dealing with, you know, what Elon Musk is saying, whether it's dealing with, you know, mental health, whether it's dealing with what's going on in politics, you know, whether it's dealing with everything, it's definitely, you know, the most important um, aspect of right now in our entire global culture is seeking first to understand and to be understood. Now, once I learned this principle years ago, you know, being certified, you know, in um, in seven habits, you know, a long time ago, <laughs> one thing that stood out to me with this particular um, 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 principle was was, you know, what I personally needed to do. You know, I needed to, you know, remove my opinion when I'm talking and dealing with somebody and really looking at their side, listening to what they have to say before I even formulate an opinion or thought on what it is they're saying or where it's coming from. Because this is very important. This is very important. You know, right now we're, we're going, through, we're having what I would, you know, what I would call a, 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 an issue of, of thinking, you know, how are we thinking? How are we, you know, postulating thoughts? How are we, you know, putting thoughts together? How are we interacting with others? How are we thinking? thinking and I and I know for a fact a lot of people are struggling with thinking right now a lot of people there's no blame it's just it's, it's a sign of the times and it's actually you know we're having a, a global paradigm shift we're going from you know we're having an industrial age shift which is always hard you know we're going into another you know an industrial age that is going from essentially what we're doing is we're going from from the horse and buggy to the car you know, and we, we read about it in history as if, oh, you know, like it, it's happening in one day, like the light switch flipped and everything was. No, we have, you know, total industries are being, you know, dismantled and deconstructed and, and obliterated for our total new industries to be, you know, to be built and to be, you know, integrated into, you know, our total you know, supply chain and so forth. So this is big stuff, you know, and I mean, from from education, from how we once learned, from what we needed to learn to what we need to learn now. So seeking first to understand than to be understood has never been more important than it is right now. And I'm going to kind of allude back to like, like what I'm saying about the um, Andrew Tate situation. And I'm not, this video, you know, is not about him and, and that situation, but it definitely rings very clear, you know, no matter what, you know, you know, support or not support of, of, of him and what he's doing with, you know, the, the law will determine what's going on there. But this is a great, you know, this is a great um, case study for, you know, seeking first to understand and to be understood because I'm hearing a whole lot just in 24 hours from this side, this side, these people and this people, you know, everybody's got their opinion. Here's the issues. Here's the issues that we that we're dealing with here. All of these varied opinions for people who never even heard of the guy before or maybe heard a little bit about the guy before. You're hearing all these different, you know, opinions and so forth that are clouding before you even understand who they're talking about. And this is happening a lot today. Let's be honest. A lot of times we're hearing about people in the news for like the first time when something major is happening because there's so much static. There's so many people out here that are famous that we didn't even know were famous, you know, until we're hearing about them. And then when we're hearing about them, we're hearing all these opinions. We're hearing all this, you know, this, 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 you know, conjecture about who they are, what they are about before we even know them. Before we've even heard them speak, before we've learned anything about them, before we've done our due diligence on seeking first to understand and to be understood, and then we're starting off with a made up mind on something or somebody before we even have any idea on what's going on with them. Case in point, 
Case in point, there are a lot of you know, famous people, entertainers and so forth that I've, you know, that we've all even grown up on. You know, I'm in my late 40s. I'm 48. And there are people that, you know, I've grown up on, grown up, you know, lived, you know, 48 years. They've been famous all 48 of my years of living. Right. <laughs> and just recently, I might, you know, you know, check out, a, you know, a biopic or, 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 you know, check out their autobiography or something or or, you know, you know, hear them in an interview that and they're giving, you know, the background on their life and everything. And I'm learning more about them now than I've known about them my entire life. Oh, wow. I had no idea. This is where they started from. I have no idea. This is why they are who they are. Oh, I'm like, oh, like um, I talk a lot, you know, with um, with um, one of my associates, you know, we we're talking the other day about Mike Tyson. Now, just in the past couple of years, I've learned more about Mike Tyson in the past couple of years than I've you know, known about Mike Tyson for the past 35 years, <laughs> you know, for the past 35 years. Because, you know, everything I heard was, you know, in the news, you know, things going to happen, you know, and he's going to, you know, I'm living in Indiana. So, you know, when he was going through, you know, the issue he was going through and, and went to prison and everything, you know, we're hearing about all this and, you know, watch his fights and everything. So I'm, I'm like, OK, I have all the what's happening now in front of me. But I had no idea about how, you know, this how he even got to this point. So, you know, to hear his stories over the past couple of years about, you know, how he started, how he even thinks, how his mind works and everything. I'm like, oh, wow. You know, there's a lot more, you know, to this human than 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 I even considered and I even thought even could have you know fathomed. Had I known this information, here's the thing. Had I known when he was in his boxing prime. When he was in his boxing prime, I mean, when he was, you know, 19, 20 years old, you know, knocking everybody out. Had I known what I know about him now and watched him doing what he was doing then, you know, my my view and opinion of him at that time would have even. I mean, I've always liked my Tyson, you know, you know, I've always, you know, you know, he's always been like, you know, pretty much kind of a hero, you know, but I but I, I didn't know this much about him. And nobody did. Let's be honest. Nobody did. Nobody knew, you know, when he was 10 years old, how he would, you know, you know, get in a fight with grown men, you know, for money. I'm like, wow, I'm like, that's deep. <laughs> you know, that's deep. But it it paints, it paints a, a broader picture. You know, it paints a broader picture and it makes you step back and you have to ask yourself, OK, I'm making all these opinions. I'm hearing all these opinions about this, that and the other, about this person, about this person, about this person. You know, why? Why are these opinions the way that they are? Case in point. You know, we hear a lot about Donald Trump. Now, myself personally, I have my own Donald Trump story that goes back 21 years. Just, you know, a personal interaction, you know, of just walking, being in the vicinity by a person. Right. So I have my own personal view of a Donald Trump, you know, you know, in real life, you know, just, you know, my, you know, my perspective, my personal perspective on top of what I heard in the news and everything. And then fast forward to nowadays, you know, now this version of Donald Trump that everybody knows about, you know, but my personal perspective on Donald Trump is not colored just by what we're seeing now. You know, it goes back for me 21 years. And before that, you know, I'd, I'd always, you know, known and heard about him before and then added in my personal experience and then fast forward and, and then up until this version of him now. So my perspective of him is different than most people's, you know, for for the reason of I have personal perspective on top of, you know, everything that we've learned subsequently so my view on him is more of you know he's exactly who you know who he's always said he was so why are we so overly surprised you know and i'm not a fan but i understand this is who we've always had so it's not a mystery to me of what we're dealing with case in point though seeking first to understand and to be understood you know these points of views are very important and very impactful especially for a time such as now and as we're, you know, hearing these different things and, you know, we have to, you know, I was just talking with my associate um, not too long ago, and we're talking about open mindedness. Now, most people, you know, claim and swear to be open minded, but let's be honest. Most people are not open minded. Most people don't have enough information. Let's just understand that. Not just education, but information in order to be open minded. And open to be clear-minded on a particular subject that they hear about, in order to to 
have any depth of, of understanding about a topic or a situation or an issue. You know, this is the this is the issue. But yet everyone, everyone, I mean, is so quick to jump to having an opinion as if their their opinion actually has gravity. Let's understand something. All opinions don't weigh the same. They don't. You know, we've we've fallen into a thing where, you know, everybody thinks that their opinion is is, you know, weighs the same. You know, here's here's the reality. My opinion does not weigh as much as <laughs> as as joe biden's opinion it just does not and i mean i mean let's just be honest you know i I, mean, I don't control as much i'm not i'm not over as much i don't have as much reach i don't have as much you know under my belt you know so my my opinion does not weigh as much it just does not you know let's be under let's understand it there are a lot of people who opinions do not weigh as much as my opinion do you know i mean and that's 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 just the reality the things that i go through and things that i actually do the people that i impact on a daily basis the, the, you know, the distances that I go or the you know things that I engage in on a regular basis, you know, puts me at a point to where there are a lot of people whose opinions do not weigh the same as mine. You know, and it's very important to understand, you know, we're in a time now where I think as we're going into 2023 and it's very poignant that I'm making this particular um, um, episode today, you know, as we're going into 2023, 2023 is going to be based on a lot of things. One thing that's going to definitely be based upon is those who have receipts, those who who do what they say that they do, those who those who show up like they say they show up, those who have a track record, those who have credibility, those who have a depth of, of experience and that are actually, you know, um, who they say they are in real life. We've, you know, 2022, 2021, 2020 has shaken up and shaken off a whole lot of false people. Let's just understand that. But what's important is for those who can seek first to understand and to be understood, to have a balanced, you know, a, a balanced emotional state when it comes to dealing with people, that's what the market wants. That's what the industries are looking for. The industries are looking for balanced individuals who can unlearn relearn and learn new skills and grow forward because the reality of it is is we're in a time now where this is the shedding of all the old here's the reality here's the reality there are jobs now in 2022 where all you need is a computer period now you don't have to be a, a tech genius you don't have to be a coder you don't have to be a <laughs> You don't have to be, you know, a savant. You don't have to be Bill Gates. You don't have to be Mark Zuckerberg. All you have to have is a computer and you can, you know, provide for your family. You know, and that doesn't mean that you have to be a gamer. That doesn't mean that you have to be, you know, you know, um, a software designer. No. All you need is a computer and you can be employed most places. Now, let's take this back. Ten years ago. No such a thing. No such a thing. Sure, we used computers 10 years ago. We use them every day. But here's the reality. Here's the reality. You know, work from home was nearly a fantasy. It was nearly a fantasy. It was work from, there was work from home and you need a computer. You know, it was very little, very sparse, and it was very, you know, it didn't pay very well. It didn't pay very well. Fast forward to the day when it's actually, you know, it's, it's a prerequisite for most jobs now. And going forward... You know, there'll be more jobs like this than not. You know, the, the physical hand laboring, you know, going out and doing a thing that those days are numbered for most things. You know, there's a there's there's a machine for the job that most of most of us do. There's a machine and there's AI, which will do that on a, on a following um, next on another episode talking about AI, because if you if, if there's a lot of people that are afraid of AI, not realizing that AI is already included in their life that they're already utilizing ai on a daily basis which you know we'll talk about that in another episode but the fact of the matter is you know stay on task you know have to say well you know we're at a time where you know seeking first to understand then the to understand and to be understood has never been more important than ever and those that can actually do that this is a skill you know, I beseech you, this is a skill for you to really practice and tighten up on. If you can seek first to understand and to hear, you know, to hear both sides, 
before you know creating an opinion or having you know something to say some some insight you know let me get my point in you know like 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 you know jump rope like let me i'm waiting to jump in here no just listen what you know you know and people say open-minded well practice open-mindedness at the highest level has never been more important going into 2023 this is my last episode of 2022 and so this is you know very you know this is a very good one to end on you know what i'm saying so i'm gonna end on saying well let's seek first to understand then to be understood have a great new year god bless you